Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. Today we'll be looking into how to configure and launch Android TV using AVD. So basically we are going to follow the same steps which we have followed in the previous video which was launching an AVD for a phone or for an Android device. So let's begin. So I have launched Android Studio. From here we'll go to device manager as we have seen the same for launching AVD for Android device or mobile device. Similarly, we'll go to the device manager section here. We'll click on create device. So to create a device, you will see by default phone is selected and here we have other categories as well, which we have already discussed in our previous video. Now, if we go to like we have to launch a TV. So if we go to TV, we have by default three versions which uh, we can use like three categories are already present. This is the device definition for all the three with respect to size, resolution and density. So if for example, I want to create this particular TV with 1920 and 1080 resolution. Its density is X HDPI. So we can launch it or we can create a profile of this. So let's select this and move to next. If you actually want to create another device with your own resolution and own uh, requirements that can also be done from this particular section. So here you can just call it as TV, say TV one and the device type will be obviously Android TV. And from there on, you can clearly make the resolution. So suppose obviously TV will be of more than uh, 50 inches or say 32 inches. So here I've just defined 55 inches and the resolution. So resolution can be around anything which you are you actually require. So here you can even see. So the size ratio is defined here. If I make changes, it will definitely be changed there too. So suppose 1920, if I say here itself and here if I define 1080, so again, that would be automatically considered here about the pixel intensity. Now, remaining things also you can check which all supported device states you want. It should be portrait or landscape, then the camera stuff. So this is a generic profile. Obviously, TV doesn't have camera, but these are the generic profiles wherein if you need, you can just include a few things and that can be added here. Now the default skin is also present. Obviously we are talking about TV. So you have this particular skins that is TV 1080p 4K and this is just about the skin. So in this way you can configure your own hardware and set it up as a device profile. I'll just cancel this for now. We'll just select the default device definition and move on. So I'll just select next again while creating the phone AVD. There too, we had a section to actually select the OS version, which is downloaded or you will need to download it first. So here also I'll go with the downloaded one. I'll select on the Android 11 and I'll click on next. Once we click on next here, it will just give you give us the briefing about what all things will be done or what all we have selected. So our Android TV with 1080p is present here with 55 inch and all the properties which we have defined is present here. Now we will just click on finish so that actually in the device manager, we will have our TV present. So as our AVD is created for TV, we'll just launch it to launch. You can just go to this particular button. If you hover, this will even tell you launch this AVD in emulator. So we'll launch it. Once you launch and this way, it will be displayed. So here, if you see, if you click on apps, you will be able to see all the apps which are currently present on the TV, which is there. So here by default, this particular applications will be present. Even if you purchase a TV in that too, there will be this particular application with maybe Amazon Prime and Netflix, depending on the vendor you have chosen. So 
here by default through Google, all the Google applications which are recommended for TV are present. So this was about the basics of creating an emulator for TV and launching it through Android Studio or through AVD. So this was about basic steps of launching and creating Android TV using AVD. We did it on Android Studio. So stay tuned for next video where we'll be looking into how we can install application on Android TV. Don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel. Hope this session was useful. Thank you.